my foster son, who was born HIV positive, and he became quite a little activist in, in, his, in the time he was with us. And as he got older and the sicker he got, the more he wanted to do. And he'd always wanted something for other infected children, but suddenly I realized that it's just so wrong that a mum is separated from her child because of the HIV diagnosis. So I said to him, should we start something for mums and kids? He said yes, so I said okay, cool. And about five months later I was offered a house rent free, grabbed it and the rest is history. And why I like shoes is that it is, it is just a thing and it does have associations, but I don't think we have to frame it as having associations. Shoes is a big thing because other kids influence that if you're wearing an all-star, it's a huge thing. Right? It, it tells the story. I kind of feel like we're at a consensus unless there's a major issue of being the one sent by Gail before we can... Shoes it is! Yay! Yay! Shoes it is! Yay! Yay! I mean, we've decided to run it very organically. We know, we have a bag of tricks. We know that we should do a warm-up, we should have a sort, a sort of a study or a sequence to teach the children, and then a cool down. But also, depending on what their energy levels are, then we can decide if we can go to the next level or not. Go to Gail and say I need to go shopping at Edgar's, or, or does she? Is it certain times of the year that you go in? Trading. Trading. Like you trade. You you trade. You old clothes, the new clothes, the old clothes. So I take a T-shirt, and then on a deeper level, my goal is to just let them know that they can strive for things, that they do have potential and that they really can accomplish things that they want. And that it may not look like what they think it's you know supposed to look like. I'm doing this because of it's not a fixed product uh, to make them to feel better. Whatever that I'm saying, it's my energy that I project to them. It's what I do practical with them. You can have more energy and more confidence. It's oh, a I do. What do you like about hearing other people's stories? Uh, we learn from other people, like to know uh, what they say in their stories. Mm. So yeah. And these are people you know, though, right? They're not strangers. Yeah, the people I know. So are they new stories when you hear them in class? Or? Yeah, we don't usually talk about any stories. Yeah. So to be the first time when we talk, we storytelling first. Yeah. 
yeah, it was cool. Like I enjoyed visual arts a lot. Yeah, and I actually, I actually enjoyed it because of the teacher as well. From the visual arts class, like I gained confidence. Mm -hmm. I gained that confidence. You know? Even now, like I do drama at school, I'm able to stand in front of the crowd and say what I want to say. Thank you.